Fight sequences often form the most visually attractive part of any film, and the really well-directed ones tend to stand out amongst the crowd. And when we add the power of visual effects to these fight scenes, they often become the ones to remember. Hello everyone, and today we will see some of our favorite fight scenes in movies and how they actually look like before and after VFX. So, let's get started. At number 10, Hobbs and Shaw Action Scenes When superstars unite for a film, most often than not, it turns out to be a great action thriller to watch. Hobbs and Shaw is a Fast and Furious spin-off starring Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Jason Statham, and Idris Elba. This movie has quite a few amazing scenes like jumping out of a window and running off the side of a building. It looked great on screen. However, if we go behind the scenes, the fight sequences were performed in front of a blue screen and involved a lot of practical action. Also, the director of the movie, David Leitch, is a former stunt performer, so he made sure the scenes looked as real as possible. The actors performed the scenes involving some pretty impressive and intense wire and rope work and had trained for days to perfect it. Finally, it was time for the skilled VFX technicians to add in some amazing effects. At number 9, Avengers Cap vs. Cap During the time travel heist in the Avengers Endgame, you get to see the incredible Cap vs. Cap fight sequence. Here, we see Captain America fighting against his past self while searching for the Infinity Stones. Now, the fans of the film were obviously confused as to which captain they need to support. The Cap double was played by Daniel Hargrave, who is the younger brother of the stunt coordinator of the film. To create the scene, Chris Evans had to film for both parts individually, with his stunt double swapping roles in between the takes. The editing team then did their magic to make it look as if it was indeed a fight scene involving Cap against Cap. At number 8, Far From Home, London Battle Scene Everyone remembers the famous battle scene near the London Tower Bridge in the movie Spider-Man Far From Home. In this film, the director managed to push the envelope of Spider-Man's abilities as they relate to his performance and athleticism. The battle sequence in the film covered almost 20 minutes of screen time. Now, Most of you'd think that the cast of the film actually shot all their scenes in London, but the VFX team had altogether different ideas. They created a digital version of London for the film based on LiDAR scans and reference photography acquired while on location. While the actors performed in a studio with minimal props, building structures, and green screen compared to what we see in the actual film. With the CGI later added on in post-production, the fight scenes turned out quite amazing. At number 7, Captain Marvel Train Chase Sequence For a superhero whose work involves a lot of interstellar travel and flying all across the universe, a lot of VFX needs to be added in. So the VFX team plays a huge role in bringing Captain Marvel and her powers to life. Plus, the dedication with which Brie Larson, the actress, performed her role was just top-notch. There's a scene from the film where the captain gets into a fight on the roof of a train, while the 90s-era Nick Fury and Phil Coulson have their own car chase trying to keep up. Luma Pictures was primarily responsible for this sequence, nicknamed the French Connection scene after the 1971 film of the same name. The chase sequence that looked as if it were continuing along a single train line was actually filmed in multiple locations around Los Angeles. At number 6, Superman vs. Justice League When a sequence involves Superman, Wonder Woman, and The Flash, the fastest superhero of them all, there's gotta be a lot of amazing fight scenes. The VFX team did a lot of planning and pre-visualization of the scenes as it was quite tricky and involved a lot of elements to work through. The fight scenes were shot in front of a green screen with various props and green screen actors supporting the actual cast. Everything might look green screen in VFX, but the fighting is actually real. The actors trained for months to perfect their body movements to what the director, the VFX team, and the audience wanted. As it turned out, the actors and the VFX artists did a great job to create this amazing fight sequence. At number 5, Avengers Cap vs. Thanos Avengers is a game-changer when it comes to incorporating visual effects in a film. Majority part of the movie involves the use of VFX. There are many fight scenes in the film. 
For instance, the final battle in the film which has all the ensembled cast together charging against the Thanos army is a treat to watch. Behind the scenes, it had the most stars together on a set at the same time, surrounded by green screen. In another fight sequence involving Captain America against Thanos, we can see Cap attacking the monster with his shield. Without the VFX, it was just Chris Evans in his superhero suit throwing an imaginary weapon at Josh Brolin in his motion capture suit while he pretended to get attacked. The shield and the huge Thanos were then created by the VFX team. Before moving to the next fight scene, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get instant notifications of our new video uploads. Now, at number 4, John Wick Bike Fight Scene Motorcycle scenes are quite a phenomenon in action movies. In John Wick Chapter 3, the wild bike chase stepped things up an extra level, with the camera moving around in between bikes and riders as they use their weapons. Now, when your bike chase features Keanu Reeves, the Matrix superstar, taking on a gang of sword-wielding bad guys along the Verrazano Bridge in New York at night, you know you're in for some significant planning to make the sequence perfect. So, the sequence was rehearsed almost four times before it was actually photographed for real. Surrounded by green screen and captured by a free-floating camera, Keanu Reeves performed scenes and the stunt team both on bikes and dressed in green leotards supported the cast. In addition, CG bikes and riders were also required for a few of the scenes in the movie. At number 3, Age of Ultron Motorcycle Chase Avengers Age of Ultron has a very famous action sequence involving Scarlett Johansson. Yep, we're talking about Black Widow's motorcycle chase. Harley Davidson's electric motorcycle was specifically created for the film and was ridden primarily by Black Widow in a series of scenes. In the chase, Black Widow drops from Iron Man's jet on board the all-electric Harley-Davidson Livewire and hits the ground running, rushing through South Korean traffic, drifting through turns, and speeding up staircases. To film the scene, stunt doubles and motorcycle cameras were used for the action scenes where we don't get to see the face of the actress. So here, to film the action shots, the stunt doubles would move in and out of the cars while few cameras followed them in front and behind on their own motorcycles. For the close-up shots, however, the action director would film Scarlett Johansson at a standstill to produce the amazing chase sequence. At number 2, Spider-Man vs. Dr. Octopus Sam Raimi's 2004 epic Spider-Man movie was a great spectacle to watch and one to remember to date. The antagonist of the film, Dr. Octopus, played by Alfred Molini, really performed to his best in this film. There were many fight sequences in the film involving Spider-Man and Dr. Octopus. Dr. Octopus's mechanical tentacles consisted of a corset, a metal and rubber girdle, a rubber spine, and four foam rubber tentacles which were 8 feet long and together weighed 100 pounds. The claws of each tentacle were controlled by one puppeteer sitting on a chair. Each tentacle was controlled by four people, who rehearsed every scene with Molina so that they could give a natural sense of movement, as if the tentacles were moving due to Octavius's muscle movement. CGI was then used for when the tentacles carry Octavius. A 20-foot high rig held Molina to guide through his surroundings, with CG tentacles added in post-production to create the final fight sequences. So finally, the number one fight scene in our list, Aquaman Underwater Fight Scenes The film Aquaman truly brought the underwater VFX to life. There are entirely synthetic underwater cities, countless CG sea creatures and characters, an enormous final act battle, and several huge out-of-water action scenes. In the Sicily fight sequence, the team built the main square of the Italian village and terracotta-tiled roof set pieces with blue screen in the background. A completely CGI village was also created based on scans and documentation of the real village. For the underwater fight sequences, the actors were shot dry for wet on special tuning fork rigs designed by the FX team and later the bodies of the actors were replaced with digital doubles in post-production. So guys, hope you enjoyed this video, and what do you think of these famous fight scenes without VFX? And which one was your favorite fight scene? Tell us in the comments below! Do like and share this video with your friends on social media. For more such amazing things, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And finally, thanks for watching.